most people feed their squirrels like this. We feed our squirrels a little bit different down here in Louisiana. We feed them like this. Maybe we've been a little tough on our squirrels the last few years, so we wanted to build something for them in 2021 to show our appreciation for, for putting up with us. A place for them to eat with uh, uh, no strings attached, no shenanigans, no hoops to jump through, no spaces to crawl through, just a, just a fun spot for them to hang out and eat their favorite food. So what better place than a squirrel nut bar? Here's the building of the squirrel nut bar, compressed down into a 30 second segment. There is our finished squirrel nut bar. We have a, a sign so they'll know what's up. We have an open and closed sign that way they'll know when they can come eat. We have five different feeding stations. Corn, bird seed, peanuts, pecans, and sunflower seeds. Five custom hand-built on my lathe wooden stools out of oak. And then there's our five feeding buckets. All right, let's see if they like it. So we said no strings attached. Okay, maybe a little string attached because as the squirrels are enjoying their, their nut bar, we are gonna be gathering some information on them. So in the nut bar, uh, we have corn, we have regular bird seed, we have peanuts, we have pecans, and we have sunflower seeds. And the goal is to figure out which food a squirrel likes best. And the way we're gonna measure this is every time a squirrel goes to a certain food first, as soon as he arrives, then uh, that's gonna count as, you know, the squirrel's favorite food is, is sunflower seed or whichever one they visit first uh, is gonna get a tick mark in that, in that checkbox, so. Our first squirrel is showing up. I don't know why they love that sign, man. You'll, you'll see that, that a lot of them start on the sign and, uh, and hop over to the bar. It's, it's, it's pretty funny. But he's gonna come around the back and looks like, where's he gonna go? I don't remember. Yep, he's gonna start with the corn. try the sunflower seed. Now don't let these suckers fool you. What we've learned over a couple of weeks of filming is that all they're doing in that bird food is pulling out the sunflower seeds. They're not eating the sunflower seeds, they're leaving that. So uh, he's just sneaking those sunflower seeds out. Here comes the second squirrel. As soon as I saw that happen, I'm like, oh, there's gonna be some squirrel fighting going on. So this next little segment, I've combined all the squirrel fights that we filmed over the last seven days uh, in one place for y'all to enjoy. Hey, knucklehead! Set us up with four red eyes, will you?
similar to a human bar. It looks like the, the patrons of the nut bar are a little bit destructive. Um, they tear things up and it's a constant struggle to, to every day go fix something that they broke. Squirrels and birds uh, about equal in, in tearing things up. So here's a little, little clip of the, uh, the breaks and the fixes. One good thing that comes out of knocking the camera over is you get some unexpected footage. So uh, I was pretty surprised to see something I could actually keep uh, on a tipped over camera. It's pretty funny. I don't know if it was because of the height of the bar stools or, or where, you know, how close they were to the buckets, but most of the squirrels elected to sit on top of the buckets to eat. We did have two squirrels, though, that did what they were supposed to do, and they actually sat on the bar stool and ate like good squirrels. So we'll show you that now. So the food contest, almost forgot about that. So uh, the first hundred visits that a squirrel made to the bar, uh, I kept track of which bucket he went to first, which food he went to first, again to determine what food a squirrel likes best in our little experiment. So uh, from least favorite to most favorite, uh, bird seed accounted for just 1%. Uh, so only one out of a hundred times did the, did the squirrel go there first and it was way in the beginning when they were trying to figure things out so bird seed not their favorite uh, peanuts accounted for four percent of the visits um, peanuts the interesting thing about them is the squirrel that was the only food that they would never eat there maybe because of its size or whatever but they would the, the few times that they would visit that they would grab the peanut and then it would leave and eat it up a tree somewhere so that was kind of interesting the next was corn um, corn was 6%. Uh, they, they didn't love it, but they would eat it. Uh, surprisingly, my cat seems to have a tendency to like corn, so uh, we're thinking corn is a much cheaper option than cat food, so we, we might look into that. Um, pecans uh, accounted for 21%. They liked the pecans. Uh, pecans were right there next to sunflower seeds, between sunflower seeds and corn, so uh, they, they seem to like the pecans pretty good, 21%, but by far at 68% was sunflower seeds. Uh, I was a little bit surprised. I thought they would like pecans better, but uh, sunflower seeds won uh, by a long stretch too. Uh, they would sit there first and just eat those sunflower seeds till they were completely gone. Then they would look at something else, but uh, there you go. Now you're never going to put seeds out in the yard and not have birds, so we had lots of birds, so I had a lot of footage to go through, and I picked out some, some funny stuff. Uh, blue jays, everybody's familiar with blue jays, they're loud, they're obnoxious, they're, they're bullies. The only bird that I've ever seen that, that can stand up effectively to a blue jay is a red-headed woodpecker, so 
Uh, we have a resident redheaded woodpecker that loves to give those blue jays a run for their money. So uh, I com combined our, our favorite bird clips into just, just a couple of minutes here. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.